Hey everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today I am doing a review of a company called Mountain Sentiments, and oh my goodness, how thrilled I am to be getting to do this review for you today. Now, Mountain Sentiments is a company owned by Julia, who lived in Texas for quite a long time until moving to the mountains of North Carolina. Julia uses tallow in her soap, which I adore. I'm also a Texas girl, and so naturally, you know, kind of raised on the beef and stuff. But I just think that tallow has a really, really great feel to it, and I think it gives lots of bubbles, and it's just nice and creamy, and that's what Julia says too. So she has tallow in her soap, and she also uses goat's milk from her own goats. How cool is that? So actually, in the package that she sent me, it has a picture of her little goaties on it. And I know you're not going to be able to see this real good in the camera. However, I do have pictures up on the blog, so go to RoyaltySoaps.com and you can see this in, in um, greater detail. And here's the little, little goat mama. She gets her um, milk from it and says, Thank you! I hope you enjoy our soap! And here's the two little goat babies. And this one says, my mama's milk makes the best soap. And this one says, hush Georgie, milk is mine. The mama goat's name is Priscilla, which is so cute. And Stewie and Georgie are her little, are her little baby goats. I just think that's fabulous. There's a little bit about um, Julia coming from, again, coming from Texas, now living in the mountains, you know, makes puts tallow in her soap and has her own goats that she puts for it. I just, I just, I'm just, she has soy wax melts, car fresheners, um, and she has lots of different types of soaps too. She has uh, pet care, felted soap, beer soap, goat's milk, and handmade soap. She has got the package deal. So you need to go to candlesetc.com. So candles, etc. And you can also find her on YouTube. Her username is Mountain Sentiments. And she also has a Facebook page, I know. And I will leave all of the links below. And so you should go check them out for show. Now for the soap. Now she sent me three bars. One was for me to actually do the review of. Second one was as a thank you for me doing the review, which, oh! Talk about sweet, just made my heart sing. And number three is a little sample bar, and I love all of them. So this first one that she had me review is the goat milk soap. Now again, not all of her soaps have goat milk in, have goat milk in them, but this one does. This is a goat milk soap bar. Again, I have all of the pictures and stuff on my website. So if you'd like to see one better, more focused, um, all these soaps that I'm going to be holding up in the video, please go check that out because they're very, very, very pretty and they deserve to be looked at in their full glory. So in this Moonlight Pomegranate Goat Milk Soap, which by the way, the tag for this is absolutely adorable, it has olive oil, tallow, coconut and castor oils, shea butter, cocoa butter, fresh goat's milk, sodium hydroxide, local honey, that's cool, colloidal oatmeal, raw tussa silk, fragrance, and mica for color. And let me tell you, it feels ex just as good as it sounds. Those ingredients say a lot about this bar of soap. It is super, super moisturizing. My hands, which have been eczema prone in the past, felt like a baby's butt. It was awesome. I can't, I can't rave about this bar enough. You should go buy one. Like you seriously should. I, I, I just love it. And it smells divine. So, it's on a scale of one to ten. This is an eleven. Just say it. Well, the next bar that she gave me is not a goat's milk soap bar. This is just one of her normal artisan soap bars. And the ingredients in here is olive oil, soy, which I have yet. To use a bar, I think, with soy. I used to make my soaps with soy, but I haven't used one where somebody else put soy in theirs. Um, coconut and castor oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, purified water, sodium hydroxide, colloidal oatmeal, raw tussa silk, fragrance oil, and mica for color. 
And this is not even beginning to show how beautiful this bar was, but as you can see, I loved it so much I used it quite a few times in the shower before actually doing the review. And for this one, I can say that this one's more bubbly. I think this one's more bubbly than the Midnight Pomegranate one, but it's not as moisturizing. It's still super moisturizing, don't get me wrong. None of her soaps are going to dry you out. But you know, on a scale and on a spectrum for those of us who make soap, we know that things can be more moisturizing than others. Um, but this, yeah, this actually looked a ton prettier, but I used a lot of it <laughs> already. And it smells, it smells really, okay, there's a little bit of mint in it. This is also, oh, by the way, this is called Rainforest. Um, it, there's a little bit of mint in it. There's a little bit of a woodsy, but there's also a little bit of floral. So this is great. I would say that this is a great bar for everybody. It's not necessarily very feminine, but it's not very masculine, and it's not exactly a kid fragrance. It's just an everybody fragrance, and I love it to bits. Now the last soap, this is the soap that I used last night, is her Burberry Shaving Soap. And this is made with beer, and I don't have the the list here of I tell you what, one moment and I will look up the ingredients to this one. Okay, so I'm on her website now, and the ingredients are olive oil, soy oil, coconut and castor oils, beer, sodium hydroxide, colloidal oatmeal, fragrance, and or essential oils, and tussa silk. So there's very, very minimalistic ingredients in this, but let me tell you, this sucker lathers up like crazy. I used this once, like, and it took me essentially going like this to my hands, and I looked, and that was enough for like an entire leg and my legs are long and gangly so I loved it and this is very 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 fragrant and I love the smell of Burberry cologne or or Burberry perfume either or and this smells fabulous I'm just I'm absolutely ecstatic with this little sample that she gave me of course I'm happy with all of her soaps but specifically this sample because it smells so good and it just lathers so much better than any other shaving bar I've ever used. Ever. Period. Bar none. So total and final thoughts. I would say fabulous company. She has a beautiful, gorgeous website. It's done kind of in a scrapbooky feel. Oh, and she's on Pinterest and Twitter too, by the way. So again, all the links are going to be down below. It's gorgeous layout very very professional she's a lovely sweet lady I'm so happy I got to do her stuff um, I love 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 all the stuff that she does with her packaging and the goat's milk her packaging is very very professional so again soap is great packaging is great customer service is great she is a a 10 out of 10 bath and body artisan that I would recommend to absolutely anybody and everybody so thanks so much everyone for watching this review please 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 rate comment and subscribe and be sure to head over to Julia's channel and check her out and check out all of her social media stuff you will not be sorry you'll be very very happy that you did because she's just just a fabulous person and a fabulous soap maker I have two more soap reviews that I'm going to be doing within the next month or so. I'm not telling you who they are, I always leave it a surprise, but one of them is super, super impressive for multiple reasons because the soap maker herself is a little younger than most of the rest of us. So I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I hope you guys will join me again. The next video that I'm doing I think is going to be making a pumpkin spice soap maybe? I don't know, something like that. And I hope y'all will join me next time. Bye for now. Uh, uh, words. I have them. I know I have them. Does the little goatee 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 I just love them a lot. My, I, you know, I can do a goat sound. <laughs> That's my goat sound. Anytime y'all plan on being quiet in there, I would greatly appreciate it. P.S. Because I know there are going to be some of you that are going to ask. This does not just say metal on it. I am not a metal head. This shirt is very, very important to me because it says metal cat. <laughs> This was all about the cat, people. It was all about the cat.